Hey guys, how's it going? My name's Always, and welcome back to Super Hostile Modded The Spellbound Caves 2. In the last episode, we were working on the Ravenheart Coven uh, in Intersection 4, and we got a bunch of loot. So I have sorted through oh, most of the loot. Uh, still have my bone mushroom spores. Uh, I've been doing a little bit of farming off camera, but most of the loot we've gathered. So we had a couple rings, the Dryad Ring, which Earth spells are more powerful. Ring of the Howling Wolf, which is Earth spells have reduced cooldowns under a full moon. And we don't have any Earth spells, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, and then Earth Sage Hat, Earth Cost Down. Um, yeah, basically good stuff, but nothing great there. Um, we have a bunch of spell books to identify, so let's just go ahead and do that. There are nine of them. Forest Curse, Summon Spirit Bear, and Stone Punch. I kind of see... I have no idea. That is a master tier spell, and I have no idea what it does. So, you know, Meteor is not terribly useful. So let's see what this does. Uh, Forest Curse. Um, no idea. We'll have to see what that does. Uh, okay. So we have three more. Let's, oops. Two, three, Leap Tornado, Spirit Horse, and Spider Swarm, no thank you, Slime, and Water Breathing. Okay, so cool, cool. Uh, I do want to see if we look, Stone Punch is not terribly strong. Um, does it say anything? It does not say anything. I have no idea what that does. Um, I'm also curious about the, I guess it's not as strong. There was a bear, um, summon spirit bear. It's a permanent spirit bear companion. Only disappear if it's killed or you can dismiss it. That's kind of cool. All right, so we will play around with that just because why not? Uh, and I have a bunch of things. So one, we have some magic quests. So we're gonna get some random stuff. Uh, we have advanced spells, novice spells, magic crystal. We will uh, deal with those later. I didn't want to put those I, uh, ident identifying scrolls away. Uh, I like to keep them in here so that I have them easily accessible. So we have 11 spawner loot. This is from our tokens that we got. And care packages plus more stuff. What's in here? Loot list two. All right, let's grab the care packages because why not? More stuff for us to store and not use. Tier one, infernal tier two, and infernal tier three. Nothing fantastic there. We got a protection book. It's kind of okay. Uh, we'll do loot list two next because nothing else is gonna be particularly useful or give us anything else. Lapis block, all right. Some spells. Uh, we have all of those spells. We have three advanced spells. We got two copies of one that we don't have. All right. So let's uh, see what this is. Water walking, okay. Not particularly exciting. And then random magic crystals and dust. We have a bunch of that. All right, so that is everything we had to deal with. Uh, what time is it? It is midday. So let's head back to the Ravenheart Coven and continue working on the area there. So intersection four. Uh, it is this way. Yes, the Ravenheart Coven. And... Yeah, we have been working our way downwards. There are a lot of witches and other things. It's not been too terrible, all things considered. It's just a little bit uh, tedious. It's been there's been a lot of void creepers, which are annoying. Um, but I haven't. Oh yeah, and then there's those things that don't actually do anything. Um, we could theoretically jump down, but I don't know if that's void or not. And I'd rather not find out. Uh, so I guess we're just gonna 
scared me. Um, it, it's been a little bit since I recorded this uh, mod pack and map, whatever you want to call it. And so I'm a little bit uh, fuzzy on everything. Uh, I vaguely remember what was going on down here, but I also don't. Um, something we should probably do. Let's, one, make sure we're not... Okay, we're in a roof forest. Um, we're going to get our backpack out, and we're going to set a spawn here. I think this area is relatively safe. There's been a lot of spiders. I remember there's a lot of spiders and void creepers. But... I think we've cleared out this area and then just beyond this area is when things are going to get a little bit sketchy. Um, we have the wolves, that's where the howling ring was. And then down there is where we were last at. So we are going to block this off. I just want to make sure, does this just go right back into the tree farm? Okay. So, we need to probably take all that, but this is where we were. Um, okay, I don't know what the force Get rid of spawners. And we're going to back up for a second. <laughs> um, okay, so Forest Curse doesn't really do much. Let's Invigorate and Vex Swarm. And let's just get rid of most of these terrible things. Um, right. This is chaotic to say the least. Um, okay, let's just walk out of there and let them kind of fight among each other. Um, yeah, this is chaotic. We also have a lot more saplings in here that we can grab later. Um, something is draining our hunger, like, considerably. Um, witches. There are so many witches. Uh, let's just try to get through some of these. Alright, you can... You are making me hungry. Okay, so... These witches are... Really, really, really annoying. Um... Okay. We need... We need to, to back up for a second. Uh, there was at least three spawners in there, and I think we've gotten all but one of them. I think I see ground down there. Oh my gosh. The poison is terrible. Um, this poison is absolutely terrible. And there is a lot of stuff still down there. So, I think what we should do is retreat for a moment. Uh, let's see, iron tokens, silver tokens. We got an evoker ring. Sneaking while casting fang summons a defensive circle instead of a line. All right, that's kind of cool. What is this? Blank runes. All right, so let's, let's back up for a second. I've got to figure out how to back up. And, yeah, this area is kind of terrible. 
Mostly just because of... There is a lot of... There's a lot of stuff down here. And these... These witches take a good bit to defeat. And so let's uh, invigorate, use all the spells. Hey, we froze a couple. Or not. And they also, they summon stuff in, which is also really fun. Let's lock that off. All right, let's, oof, we are hungry. This is just terrible. Um, let's see. Forest Curse, I don't know what this spell does, and it doesn't seem to be particularly fantastic. Um, just try to get rid of some of these witches. And I think what we need to do is rethink some stuff. Um, specifically, I need something to get rid of debuffs. Um, debuffs have been kind of bad. So let's see. Let's go to just now. Magic Missile. Doesn't seem to be much better. Witches just have a lot of HP. They also take potions. I mean, they are witches. Oh, man. Uh, this is rough. Uh, so, we're not, like, high. Uh, you look like a different breed of witch, so I hope I didn't aggro somebody that was friendly, but I don't think I did. Um, we are hungry. We still have quite a few... Uh, quite a few hearts. But I need to eat. Let's just get some crits in, and maybe this will help. This is very hard to think of help. Um, Alright, there we go. Let's back up. Let's heal up. And, you know, we have a bed up here. Let's go ahead and sleep if we can. Um, mostly just to get rid of the night. Not that the night really matters too much here. It's mostly kind of, I'm going to say caves, but it's basically caves. Um, that being said, things are just eating through our hunger. Um, I don't even know what. Oh, hey, there's stuff up here. I wonder if things were teleporting up here and then dying. It's a bunch of cabinets. I should break these. Uh, I don't like to keep stuff like that just lying around because I will open it constantly. And I don't want to. Um, it is it is guaranteeing that I won't open an empty chest. Alright, so... Our armor is doing fine. Our backpack has seen better days, but we do have a good bit of food in general. Um, we should be okay to continue on, but we need to we need to clear out the one room and then we'll worry about the other. Let's let's focus on the room with the door. This one. And I don't know that there's any more spawners in here, but I do want to make sure Hi, there is at least one more spawner. And our axe broke, which is kind of not great. Um, okay. So the spawners are like in here. I, I found it. Um, it's right there. Okay. Oof. Lag spike. Um. Ow. Alright. So let's uh, seal that back up. 
you know, let's. I don't have an axe. Um, prisoner ring extinguishes the wear if it if burning. So bottles of wild berry juice. That was what I had in the slot that I switched things with. We got another backpack from somebody. Do I have another axe? Of course I don't. Um, let's make one. We can make a diamond axe. That would be okay. So amethyst goes there. Okay. Trying to get organized. Apparently we can put backpacks in backpacks. I didn't know that was going to be a thing. Um, and here there is some planks. Make a crafting table. And let's just make a diamond axe because we can. All right. So let's be smart about this. And force curse. I don't know what that does though. Um, You know what, let's uh, ignore them for a second and make sure that we have all the spawners. We probably do not. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna back out for a second. And we're gonna send some vexes in there. Um let's eat. Poison is terrible. Um Let's try to take these witches out one at a time. Okay, this is a little bit faster than one at a time that I expected, but... Okay, as long as it works. Um, okay, so... Are there more... I'm trying to put a torch. Are there more spawners around here? All right, we're gonna hang in this room for a second and see if anything else spawns. I'm going to guess that there is a lot of witches in here. This is like the witch dormitory. We're gonna put a block there and spell lookups, okay. So these are all just lecter lecterns, lectures, lectern. Um, another one of these guys. Okay. That was a fire and ice lectern. A little bit different. Um, another arcane workbench. I will take those. Those are kind of difficult to acquire. And now the fun part. We have a lot of stuff that I want to loot. And I don't want to have to... Uh, I don't want to have to, like, sort through things right now. There are a lot of books. We're going to put all the books in here. And I don't know what that table is. It's obviously magical. Um, can we break it? No. Uh, receptacles. This is probably an, like an imbuement table or something like that. Good as new. Uh, we can see what that is. Imbuement altar. Okay, I was right. Oh, here is the rest of the Earth Sage stuff. And a bunch of spectral dusts. Alright, cool. So we could be an Earth Sage if we wanted to. Um, really don't have any desire to do that. We need to eat... <laughs> And I think what we're going to do is we're going to send some vexes over there. And we're going to grab some stuff out of that, which didn't really amount to much. And we're going to be smart about this. We're going to place a block. We're going to... We're going to try to be smart about lighting things up from the hallways 
Yeah, there is a lot of... There's a lot of spawners. Um, that is kind of obvious. Um, now, whether or not... Shut that door. Um, we are getting hit by so much stuff. Just put some, some lights everywhere. And eventually, we will make our way to somewhere. Um, we'll be able to get something out of this. So, we have a lot of stuff on us. Um, I'm going to say this. I'm going to step away for a second. And we'll come back once this area is a little bit not as terrible. And um, we'll continue exploring a little bit more in this episode. I know this episode is start, starting to go a little long, but we haven't made much progress. Which is something I'd like to do. I would also love to end some of these witches. Because the purple one would be nice to fight. But there's a lot of witches in there. Um, I think what we're going to do is we're going to magic mirror out of here. And I will see you guys back once... Um, once I have a little bit of stuff to do, uh, that is the secret way to get back to our base. So I'm gonna I'm gonna empty out the inventory, and we'll head back there in just a moment. All right, so I went back, I dumped off all of the inventory, and I have a couple new spells, including Black Hole and Spark Bomb. In fact, those are the two new spells that I have on R1, um, because I think that Black Hole is gonna be very useful down here. Um, so we're going to just jump right into it and try to... Alright, I know where they're spawning now. Um, and let's let's start with a back support. And then... Black Hole. Uh, and what happens if I use a Spark Bomb... With a Black Hole? It seems to be pretty good. Um... Hi. All right, so the black hole lasts for a while. Um, I do need to see one kind of important thing. Ow, don't do that. All right, let's just defeat the switch. And please don't burn your stuff. All right, um, so we are going to jump up here. I said we're gonna jump up here. Oh my god. Okay, we're gonna make this hole a little bit. Alright, we're gonna jump up here and we're gonna go through this wall a little bit. Because the witches are on the other side, um, the spawners are up above. I think they're falling down. At least that's what I think. And so if we can get up to them uh, this will be a lot easier but if not that's why I have the black hole all right so I see that spawner and that spawner all right cool so that seemed to work pretty well Am I going to get sucked into the black hole? I don't think so, actually. Uh, there is the slight problem of... I, I need something that does area of effect. And I think... I, I went for the spark bomb for that purpose. I don't know if it's the best thing. Oh, there are parasites everywhere now. <laughs> That's an interesting side effect. Uh, I need to eat. Okay, so... De Hi. Uh, the witches can summon in things, which is kind of annoying, but... Uh, let's just get some... Electricity. 
electricity in there. And I think it's going to be a lot quieter. There was mostly just the two. Let's put three torches right all next to each other. Um, are you done yet? Can you just be defeated already? All right, so there are a bunch of dormitories, and we have a bunch of things in our inventory. Um, let's try to sort this stuff out real quick. Okay. What is that? Oh, condenser upgrade. All right, that is a thing that might be useful. So, yeah, they were falling from up above, technically. And I think that's all that's here, uh, which is good. That is really good for us. Um, it means, what is that? Orb of Radiant Light. Increase healing spells, potency. Okay. Uh, so there is going to be a lot of things for us to try to find. But these are definitely... Uh, I'm gonna call them witchy dorm rooms. Uh, this is where the witches were at. And I, I do like the black hole. I, I'm gonna test out something before we go any further. And it's mostly, I need to see. Uh, this is a lot of junk, like actual just junk. But I'm still gonna grab it all because that's what I do. Um, I need to see if we get affected by the black hole at all. Or if it is only enemies that get sucked into it. And I guess technically our vexes are pseudo enemies. Alright, we're going to need to grab a large pack. I did get um, all of the books out of here, which is good. Um... But yeah, so let's see. I think that's that's everything. Um, we're gonna just dump off a bunch of this stuff into this pack. Two more sets of items. Let's do the two backpack, two of the three backpacks apparently. Uh, and then that's basically full. We don't have to worry about it. Okay, so first of all, let's see No, we are not affected by the black hole. That is really good to know. Um, that means that we don't have to worry about anything with it. Uh, it is purely going to do damage to our enemies. And at the very least, what I want for it is to gather them all up. Um, if we have all of our enemies in one place, then we don't have to worry about... We don't have to worry about them escaping. Uh, so, let's make our way down to here. I always want to make sure that there is no traps. There could be. But I want to make sure that there's no traps. We are getting into, like, a cave. And a creeper. Okay. This does not look too bad. Uh, let's just get some. Uh, let's just get some stuff going. Um, these are nether rack furnaces, indeed. There's a bunch of stuff in here. Uh, black hole. And then we are going to switch to a spark bomb. I need to, I need to find a spell that's going to do a nice area of effect. We're probably going to go with um, some sort of... Some sort of... Oh my gosh, there are so many spawners there. Alright, black hole. 
Uh -huh. Black hole. Let's get rid of the death tome. And let's just get rid of all those spawners. Uh, there might be more in the other corner, and I'm really hoping not. Alright, cool. So that looks like everything. Oof, there's a lot of stuff here. Um, any good books? No. Alright, let's get rid of what we can. And we are going to probably have to... Oh man, inventory problems, right? Like, it's good to have all this stuff, but we have all this stuff, and I don't know what to do with all this stuff. Uh, there is nothing up there. Okay. So this area seems pretty safe. Um, what we're going to do... I'm going to grab these books. We're going to grab another backpack. Large pack, whatever it is. We're going to put this stuff in here. And we're going to put this back. Uh, we need to eat. We're going to loot this area. There are... What are these? Wine. And this is probably apple cider. Apple juice. Eh, close enough. Um, forges are really nice. We're just going to take most of this stuff. And we're going to have plenty of supplies for the foreseeable future. Alright, so what do we have in here? Uh, honey, apple juice, and wine. Salads. My food source. And, okay, perfect. Let's just grab everything we can. And we'll put anything away that we can as well. Uh, so at this point, there's a rope bridge. Hi. Where did you come from? Maybe I just didn't see you there? Alright, so there is good news that there is water down there. Um, so if we fall, it's not the end of the world. But let's see what happens if we run across this. There's a baby spider. Okay. Um, so for once, I don't think this bridge is trapped or anything. Uh, other bridges might be trapped, but I mean, worst case scenario, we go to we we just jump down to the bottom, and there's more stuff down there. So uh, I am going to call the episode here. We made some progress. We cut down another level, and honestly, we might be able to put our bed down here rather than having it up above we'll see um but what we're hi um what we're gonna do is this we're gonna call the episode here and i'm going to go back to the base and unload all of this stuff and we're gonna do basically what we did this episode again we're gonna loot and then we're going to come back here and continue working our way downwards. So that is the plan. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.